midnight and yeah so I'm kind of exhausted but whatever um, so if you follow me on Twitter then you probably see me talking about the fact that I am getting new shelves for my bedroom so I went through and I tried to get rid of a lot of stuff this was inspired by Becca Payne I love that girl shout out Becca hey what's up um, anyway in her latest video or what time this comes out it might not be her latest video anyway she did like a little room tour video shelf tour video and I just I love that minimalist look I love not having clutter and crap everywhere and I could totally do that if I didn't own about 50,000 pairs of clothes. Pairs of clothes? I don't think that's right. If I don't, didn't own 50,000 clothes, let's just leave it at that. I own a lot of clothes. And let's be real, I don't wear half of them. But I also have a hard time parting with things like my clothes and my shoes. I have, oh my god, boots. Mm, guys, I love boots. Anyway, I really wanted to go a little more minimalist. I wanted to have just more room, more time, and more, more time. It doesn't have to do with time. I wanted more room and more money just for my animals. Where the heck am I? I'm in a part of town that I never drive in, and I'm trying to do this without a GPS, and I'm literally just going circles around these neighborhoods. But I think we're finally starting to get somewhere. So I have a, like a garbage bag and a laundry basket full of clothes and shoes that I'm getting rid of. I was able to reorganize and completely empty the tall dresser and so I'm going to have my brother help me move that to the basement when he gets home from school today and I'm currently on my way to Home Depot to pick up my new shelving unit and I'm so excited. I'm hoping to put... I don't know what I'm gonna put on it. I want to put my feeders on it I think. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll put, it's supposed to be big enough to fit 20 gallon long tanks. So I might put my two 20 gallon longs on it. So, and then maybe some feeders. I don't know. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm also gonna be putting it together, like, together by myself. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we're almost at Home Depot. I will catch you guys there. Do I do it? I'm thinking probably... I don't know where I'm going to put it. But I want it. We've <laughs> got for reptiles and a plant. Why am I allowed to go outside on my own? I will never know. And this all stemmed from me going to Target the other day and they had a big fake one like that but you know I'm being Target it was super expensive. So haha -ha, Target I've got a real one for only $12. Ha! Okay so ignore my room obviously it's a hot mess because I'm seriously reorganizing. But this is what we're getting rid of, and the shelf is going to go right there. So I have to get this out of the way first. Classics. It's a four teal steel wire shelf and it is 30 inches long, 14 inches deep, and 48 inches tall. It does come with wheels. 
you can put wheels on, but it also comes with the bottoms. You don't have to have wheels. So I think I'm gonna not put wheels on. on the very first notch for the very first shelf. Okay, so I want my feeders to go on the bottom shelf. So I have my Juvia bin here to help me measure where to put the next shelf. So let's see, maybe right there, right there, I think right there is better. We'll try right there first. Okay, so I've got that set and I'm doing the same thing for the babies. And it looks like I'm going to need to put the next set of holes on. fit two 20 gallons here. We'll see if the shelf allows me to do that. But so far, so good. <laughs> A 20 gallon long, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. Okay, so change of plans. I moved the geckos here. So for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is because I'm probably moving out soon anyway, as soon as I get a job. And when I move out, then I can utilize this top shelf for a 20 gallon tank or something. So for now, I guess I'll just leave it like this. I mean, it's not like I'm living here much longer. So yeah. Alright, so here's the final look at it for this video. I have everyone's heat plugged back in. The nice part is this is where my desk used to be, so I have my lights that were for my desk. And I have one that goes right over the geckos to kind of give them some light. Oh, let me move this. I'm trying to keep humidity in. There. So, Yeti's enclosure is next to be redone. Um, but I think I'm going to wait until I move out because I want to move her into a 20 gallon. So, she'll be soon. As soon as I move out, she'll get an upgrade. Yeah, so that is my new shelf for the time being. Now I can organize the rest of my room and then do a room tour. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. So you don't miss that room tour of my newly organized clean room. I'm so excited to get that done and we'll see you guys in the next video.